All right, talk to me, Goose. Okay. side of the campground is fronted by the south edge of the East River, which is really the Crooked River, but hey, let's not quibble. The area there is this open, forested, beautiful place where you can just drag up a chair and watch the river go by. It's really wonderful. And then there is Site 12, which I think is the nicest site in the park. We'll be going there in 2021. And uh, we were in Site 25, which you see here, which was really just beautiful. So we are on the road. We're heading to Mallison's, which I think we mentioned in our previous video. Um, Mallison's is uh, kind of ingrained in our history because um, on all the trips that we took to Florida before we moved to Florida, and even after we moved to Florida, we took trips. We'd always stop in Kingsland, Georgia, which is the next exit up. Uh, and we discovered this dumpy looking shack. Uh, that Smoke was, shack. Yeah, that was selling a barbecue out the back door. Uh, and I'm not a big barbecue fan, but somebody else is. And uh, we discovered that they had cupcakes that they sold. I think there were cupcakes that were made by somebody local uh, and they just supplied it to Mallison's. But they sold it for a song. I mean, you get this giant cupcake for, what is it, $1.50? No, each. I think they're two fifty each. No, I don't think they're that much. I don't, I don't know. I really we'll find don't. out. But anyway, we'll find out. But anyway, uh, delicious cupcakes, really good barbecue if you like that sort of thing. Um, even though it, it, it looks like a, you know, a seedy uh, meth lab. It's, it's really a really great food. So um, we've only ever stopped there on our way to Florida, but now we're in Georgia for the next four days. And we thought, all right, let's just go there and uh, eat it as a temporary resident of Georgia. And since we have the tradition, so far anyway, of eating out on our travel day, right. um, this is our eating out night. So. We'll pick it up when we get there. All right. So what are you going to get? Um, you know, I'm thinking about doing the beef. Okay. Because, although they do have a combo plate. Well, you can get that. That's right. Ryan! But, I don't know, but here's the gourmet cupcakes. Yes. So what are you going to get? Uh, Wendy's. <laughs> Next okay. door. All right. All right, talk to me, Goose. Okay. I got the beef plate, barbecue beef plate. Voila. O-M-G. Look at that. <gasps> oh. Shall I take a taste? Uh, yeah, you have to. I have to, huh? Or, you know. 
Oh, look at that. That is just so good. Okay, so which would you rather have, people? Would you rather have this or this? You know, with a little, uh, I think this one wins. All right, let's get to the Okay, so, now. yes, let's behind, what's behind door number one? Hold on. It's a little windy here. We have butter pecan. Ooh. Look at that. Looks good. Dollar ninety-nine. Yeah. Can't go wrong. <gasps> this winner, winner, chicken dinner again. Ooh. Chocolate Reese's peanut butter cup. Not bad. Yummies. Pretty good for a meth lab. Yes, indeed. What is it? This is our yard. Look at this. Check it out. How cool is that? Makes me want to dance. Go ahead. All right, so we are on our next to the last day here at Crooked River State Park in St. Mary's, Georgia. And we thought we'd sit for a chat and tell you what we thought of the park and uh, the pros and the cons and some of our experiences here. So 
Uh, let's start off with you, and why don't you give us your impression of Crooked River? I would recommend Crooked River uh, to anybody. I, I think it's a wonderful state park. It's beautiful. Uh, it's full of the uh, tall pine trees. It's very well laid out. Um, they have walking trails. They have a nature center. They have bird observation places. Um, In fact, there's one that we're looking at right now uh, right. that I'll show you um, as we're talking, but keep going. Right. Um, and, you know, it's extremely clean, really clean and um, aesthetically ma maintained. You know, they're very good about mowing the lawn and picking up um, the pine needles. Um, but anyway, so some of the lookout observation places are um, not exactly maintained. You know, the screens are pushed in or broken or whatever, but you know, you never see, you know, I have yet to see anybody go into them. I've gone into um, the bird sanctuary one, observation one, and uh, we went into one of the lookout towers that would be good um, for sunset. And I know that there's another lookout tower. And unfortunately, the nature center, uh, <laughs> they had a flood. Or some something. sort of spill. Some sort we don't, of we spill. don't know. He was very coy about it when I asked him about it, but right. Um, so. I'm sure that's back to normal by now. But we just haven't been in there yet. Well, we went by today. We did go by we today, did but go they were by closed. Today and they were still closed. So, so um, um, but the campsite. The campground is beautiful. Uh, huge sites, uh, extremely well kept. Right. Uh, tall pine. It's really in a tall pine grove. Um, you're where, not on top of your neighbors. Right, where the grass is cut you know, pretty religiously. They did it the day we were here. Um, it's just beautiful. There, I, I commented to Charlotte when we first got here and I had done my first walk around that there are no bad sites. There right. are none. They're all great. Some are better than others. There's like four or five that are right along uh, the river. But uh, beyond that, there's just not a bad site in there. So if you can get in there uh, in any site, you're doing pretty well. Uh, the campground is set up in such a way that there are kind of two loops. It's really one big loop with a bisection in the middle. And uh, the grouping, or, or the, the lots that are uh, the higher numbers, I think from like 40 to 60 or something like that, uh, have sewer. Whereas the, right. uh, the ones that we're in do not have sewer. Not that it's a big deal, there's a dump station here. Uh, but if you were staying for more than you know four or five days, you'd probably want to get a site that had sewer with it. Um, I think if you go to their website, they'll list which sites have sewer and which don't. So, um, but we just noticed that the ones on the uh, eastern side seem to all have sewer. Um, we also went outside the park, and the area around the park is very rural, very nice. And there's some beautiful homes yep. right along the river. Yep, um, um, that, that's a fun bike ride if you want to do that. Right. Um, the town of Kingsland and the town of St. Mary's are right outside the park, really. It took us about, what, maybe 12 minutes, 15 minutes to get to the grocery stores. Right. Um, and there's plenty of restaurants um, in Kingsland. We haven't been to St. Mary's yet. I think that we're doing that tomorrow night. Um, so it's in terms of infrastructure, it's a great place to stay. Um, and uh, we're not Georgia residents, but we were able to get a senior discount. That's right, because I'm old and decrepit. <laughs> right, which we weren't expecting. But, uh, you know, when we checked in, she actually kindly asked, right. you know, is anyone 62 really and older? old and decrepit. Anyone military? And I raised my hand. Yeah. And 20% later, I yes, was happy that I was 20%. old. 20%. So. so so that was really nice. So overall, um, a great place to stay. There's, I just don't see any negatives here. So. I think that's just about it. Right. So we'll wrap it up here and uh, we'll pick it up when we get to the Smoky Mountains. All right. Later.